Hello guys, Mola here. So today I'm going to show you how to add uh, stock to your smart invoice. So once you open up uh, smart invoice, uh, you go to item management, you click there, then you come here to item name. This is where you put the name of the item that you want to add to stock. So what I usually do is I, I type the description somewhere like in Word, then I'll just copy and paste it into, into the smart invoice uh, application. You paste the description under item name and also under item description here at the bottom. Then we'll go to item type and choose uh, finished product since what you're invoicing is a, uh, a finished product. Under stock, we'll put five since uh, we only have uh, five in stock. Then we'll go to origin. This is where you put where that item is coming from. In our case, uh, these goods came from China. Uh, I'll type CN, which is an uh, abbreviation for China. Choose China and confirm. Then we go to packaging. Under packaging, I'll choose uh, loose since these, these items are loose. Then we go to unit of measure. Uh, there I'll choose number. Then we'll go to VAT category. Uh, here I'll choose 16%, which is a standard. Then you go to class code. This is where you classify the goods that you are adding as stock. These are pump spares, so just type uh, pump and search. Then I'll choose uh, pump parts and accessories, then confirm. Then next we'll go to selling price. This is where you put the unit price for, for the stock. Uh, the unit price includes of VAT, so it will be the selling price plus the VAT amount for each item. So if you want to invoice in, in dollars, uh, when putting the stock, you have to put convert that dollar amount to quarter amount. So bear in mind, once you convert uh, the, 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 the currents uh, from dollar to quarter when adding a stock, Make sure when you go to the invoicing part, the, the rate should be the same as the one that you put when, uh, when adding stock. So for this, this part, you can check out my other video and see what I'm talking about. So let's put the, um, the selling price there. That's the unit price inclusive of VAT. So as you can see here, it has calculated the amount before VAT, which is 6,050 kwacha. Then we'll click on generate... Um, item code so the system will generate the code on its own or so just check through to make sure that um, everything is correct and uh, all the details that you've put are the correct ones so after you've confirmed that everything is okay you can just click on save then your stock is saved and you can you can go ahead and uh, invoice thank you so much for watching see you in the next one kindly subscribe like comment and share